everyone, this week's video is going to be about how to get your baby to sleep through the night. It is the number one question that all mums want to know and particularly for me as a new mum when I had Noah, it's the only thing that I wanted to know. Didn't really care about much else. How do we get this baby to sleep through the night? So first of all, let me clarify what is sleeping through the night because it does range from baby to baby, expectation to expectation and depending on the age of the child as well. Some people will say sleeping through the night is if they get four hours. So others will say if they get six or seven hours uninterrupted. So it can definitely range depending on the age of your child and the expectations as well. So look, as a snapshot, newborn babies and babies, young babies in particular, especially up until the age of around six months, it's expected for them to wake frequently through the night for a feed. But when I say frequently, I really try to recommend keeping those feeds four hours apart. And that's even for young newborn babies. They should be capable, as long as their weight gains on, on cue, they should be capable of sleeping at least four hours without a feed. So that's usually my aim now. However, for older babies or babies who are a little bit more established on solids, um, you know, you should be able to get, like I said, a minimum of four hours, but then anything after that, um, you could should be able to stretch them six, eight, and some cases even 10 to 12 hours through the night. And that's where you would then classify as sleeping through the night. They might be waking up once for a feed. It might be at midnight and going straight back to sleep. So, you know, that's still classified as a good night depending on the age of the child. Here's some tips on how you can try and achieve um, a full night's sleep. So my first tip is timings. Timing is key. And not so much for nighttime, but for daytime too. Making sure that your daytime naps are lined up appropriately with your, the age of your child. Sleep equals sleep. So that means the better they sleep through the day, they're going to sleep better at night and vice versa. So timing and daytime naps is absolutely essential piece of the puzzle to achieving a good night's sleep. Um, and I do have info, tips, sleep guides and more information inside the app on the appropriate sleeps, naps, wake windows, um, and guides for the for your child at the appropriate age. Um, my next tip is calories, absolute essential. Regardless if you've got a newborn baby or you've got a one-year-old child, calories is absolutely key. Um, babies and toddlers control their own calories, so that means the more you can give them through the day, the less they're gonna want and need overnight. Now that's not to say they're still not gonna wake up for a feed, that's a given, depending on the age. However, it's how frequently they wake up through the night to get that feed is what's important. If you can, like I said in the very beginning, stretch it to four hours, that's great, ideal, but even longer, obviously, is even better, and that comes down to daytime calories. In regards to the food, um, for babies over the age of three to four months, inside the app, you do have a food guide to refer to as well, and that gives you a bit of an indicator of how many daytime calories your child can consume um, through the day, which has been created by Jackie, our dietitian. That might give you a bit of a guide on on you know where to go from that my other tip is self-soothing although it's not absolutely essential or critical there are families that i do work with that feed their baby to sleep and they still sleep all night so it can help obviously self-soothing is a big part of it and it can help but it's not essential it you know if as long as the timings are right and the calories are right and especially at bedtime that they're getting that full feed in before they go down for their last sleep of the night. So, and I've done a video on this previously, only a couple of weeks ago on common bedtime challenges, which is another thing a lot of families face. Um, what they find is their baby drifts off in that last feed. Now, whether it's breast or bottle, um, and that's sometimes where you might find that they wake up frequently after going to bed, um, or they wake up frequently through the night to kind of catch up as well on those last calories that they missed out on when they fell asleep during that last feed. So that's really essential. Another factor to consider is the room environment and the temperature of the room. If your child isn't dressed appropriately, chances are they're gonna wake from possibly being a little bit too cold. Um, the coldest part of the night is between two and five generally, and that's when a lot of mothers wake and could easily be mistaken for hunger cues, but mm, sometimes isn't hungry. They could just need an extra layer or they might just be a little bit cold. So making sure they're dressed appropriately and for the coldest part of the night is the absolute key to the puzzle here, especially in winter. We're coming into winter here in Australia right now and it gets cold. And if your baby isn't dressed for the coldest part of the night, like I said, they will wake. So making sure that they're using the right layers 
babies and most toddlers cannot use blankets. So steer clear of blankets, use layers or sleeping bags. Um, and that might need a couple of layers. I do have information in the app on how many layers depending on the temperature of the room. Um, but making sure your baby is warm enough is, is also going to um, increase your chances of getting a longer sleep through the night. So look, I hope these few tips help. It gives you a bit of an overview of one, expectations of sleeping through the night and two, gives you a few tips on some things that you might want to use moving forward. Um, but also anything else that you might need to know about wake windows or sleep guides or food guides or, you know, clothing guides is all in the app for you to check out.